Hey folks, Dan will try to show you how you can tell the difference between a, uh, a PE or Perionix Escobatus compared to a red worm. I've seen a Fatida, Fatida, however y'all want to see it. So I'm from the south, what can I do? But the first thing I'm going to show you is even how these cocoons are different sizes before I go prowling around with these worms, but I'm going to try to show you. If you look right here, this is your typical red worm cocoon. You can see how big it is. And then if you look beside it, that is a uh, PE cocoon. You see how small they are. You can look by my finger now, which is kind of hard to judge, but if you look, it's basically half the size is one of these. I'm gonna try to show you how they move real weird now, so hopefully they'll cooperate. Just hang with me a little bit. It might take a little bit to get them to cooperate. But uh, this is just a handful out of my bin. I got mixed bin. I'm gonna try to show you. You get a real weird worm. Looks like it's inch worming along. It's a perionics, it's not a red worm. I'll show you even this one here. They're called the uh, spike worm, spike tails, because they're basically a straight worm is what it is. And if you just look how weird they move. But like I say, I'm gonna try to show you a uh, red worm compared against it. And tell with this tail, this one. You can even look and see the red worms are chubby looking. I'll show you one here. It's kind of hard to see, you got some dirt on it, but the red worms, they got the bulging clotellum on them, if you can see it. Blue worms, straight worms, they look just like a nail. And let's see if I can, there's going to be some gobs up in here somewhere, so bear with me a second here. You see the blue tip on them? Let me get them over here a little bit. They got a blue head with that flush costellum on it. That's your blue worm. P. You ain't really want to cooperate and show you true walking ability here. He's trying to find some shade. <laughs> Kind of watch how they move, they have a snake like move to them. That is your Perionix PE, like I said. You can get a good look at them. Hopefully it's gonna come out pretty clear, but like I said, they can really move fast when they want to as well. Like I say, you can see how straight they are. Yeah, he's tired of me messing with him. But these things, even the babies, they'll do a real whipping thing when you got one of those little, a real small baby in your hand. I'm gonna show you a, uh, that's another red worm. You can see where it's got a bulging clotel on there. More docile worm. Actually, here's another. Perionix here. That one's starting to freak out a little bit, but he's still not doing too good. Everybody's hiding in a pile here somewhere. Little Nicky baby worms all in here.
Here we go. That's a prairie onyx. Like I said, they got that kind of inch worm move to them. There's another perionix. You see, like I say, how docile these red worms really are compared to these others. That's a red worm. You can see they're bigger and it's getting smaller toward the end. Here's a nice gobble worms. Let's see what we got here. You can see that's a perionix. Let me see if I can get them to move a little bit for you. Yeah, they got a pretty good reverse on them too. See how he's backing up? Anyway, I think I messed with them enough, but you can see like say even these red worms you can see they got like a little bit of a flatter some of them's got yellow on their bellies You can see this blue worm see the head on them Flush clotel One more look at him Anyway, hopefully this will help you out. That's it for now